Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. My name is James David. In today's video, I would like to talk about how I prepare the plants before propagating them into the soil medium. And one of the cases that I actually find that in most cases what happens to me is that when I immediately propagate this into the soil medium, it will tend to become very floppy and end up becoming rotting away and I have many times lost the plants. Uh, in most cases when I find the sensitive type, especially this uh, cheese leaf plant known as uh, Monstera uh, adesoniae and even uh, Raphidoptera uh, tetrasperma. It, I find that this is extremely slow growing plants and uh, somehow they tend to die faster and in most cases will just wither away if immediately planted in a potting medium. So what I have planned to do here is that I, uh, uh, this is what I want to do. I'm actually planning to put them in a water container first and let it be for about two to three weeks until I see the the plant is firm and sturdy and once that has taken place I will actually propagate them using a soil medium. So my technique here is this uh, in most cases I've noticed that uh, when it comes to propagation I find that most of the gardeners or even uh, experts will actually cut and trim in between nodes two nodes and this kind of thing and place them in a very special uh, type of uh, aroid mix that consists of perlite, sphagnum moss, uh, uh, lacquer ball, and a little bit of all those type of uh, aroid mix for it to grow very well. Uh, my point here is that it can be successful and, and from this note uh, a new shoot may appear but it will be roughly taking about six months for it to actually establish itself and that is a very long time to wait and especially in a garden space that is so tight and small I don't think so I want to do such a kind of a setup in my garden space so my method is very simple I do not trim one node I prefer to have uh, two nodes in the water or two nodes up above or three nodes up above in that way I find that more nodes are in the water seems to keep the plant more stable and the ability for it to handle stress uh, here I'm actually going to show to you roughly what has happened here a friend of mine have passed me her plant because she's doing a renovation in the house and there's too many plants and so she just cut out, gave me cuttings of these particular plants. And I think it's a very good uh, thing for me to take a video of it and show to you how I actually do it. Because uh, actually about five time minutes work, immediately trim, cut and put in water. But for this purpose of the video, I want to show to you a step by step, a step, step by step of how I actually do it. Okay, uh, just want to show to you, this is photos. Uh, I, it's known as uh, it is known as photos jade uh, due to the fact that the leaf is purely green without any uh, yellow variation or colors on it and this particular wine supposed to say is a very huge piece of uh, trailing wine that have been growing on a tree and the landscaper has decided to pull out and throw in a request for it and that this particular piece was actually roughly about 10 meters i can say it was quite quite a very tall winding plant so what i have done here is that i've trimmed them in sections about two or three and place it in water this is roughly about uh, two months and of course there is no leaves here there was sort of like a leaf shield around it and i've removed it 
and it is now giving out beautiful leaf uh, shoots on it i have been changing the water once a week and one or two uh, wine you know, this particular cutting has rotten away so they do require changing of water time to time preferably once a week so that uh, it will keep this whole thing fresh so i intend to do something similar like this for this particular one uh, this is another one same same plant uh, it appears to be more established and more beautiful looking and more uh, stable in that kind of context so what i am going to do here is that uh, in the same context is to get a bottle of water this is actually a coke bottle and i just trim off the head and uh, pour some water in it and this is how i actually prepare my plants i will keep this in, in my uh, indoors probably a bright shaded area so it's not exposed to direct hot sun just keep that for the root to focus itself in, gro in its growth so basically uh, notice here yeah so this is how new roots may appear to grow this is sort of like water roots i'm more interested in this uh i don't know if you can see it. okay this, these are the water roots i'm more interested in this formation once this have taken place i know that the the cutting is alive and is firm and when that occurs i will also notice that this new shoots will also appears to be taking place so this plant is very viable and i can actually uh, transfer these cuttings into a, a soil medium or aeroid mix whichever that it works best in your garden condition so uh, my point is this in most cases plants do rot away especially when they are immediately planted as when their roots or there is no aerial roots or the formation of the cutting is not stable like for example like this uh, it appears to be there but there's no promises that this would actually become strong roots and sometimes they can just dry up due to stress so they, they need to be stable before planting so this is what i intend to do so like this particular one this is top cutting uh, which, which is just good enough for me to put in water so i, I just leave it and see how it behaves about uh, how do you say two weeks time to be sure to be certain that uh, the cuttings is strong and firm so like over here you see the leaf is a little bit floppy a bit faded it's not looking so good so that's what i intend to do on this kind of setup so this is one thing that you have to note that in doing so the plant can last in your garden for many months and it will not die because uh, based on my experience what has happened is that i have immediately cut trim and put it in a potting medium and it, in a week's time the whole thing rots away and i've lost that particular species and i find it a little bit tedious and i was wondering what went wrong so this ensures this particular style of uh, gardening and growing ensures that the plant lasts long and perhaps let's say you're running short of time you can just do this first and make sure that new growth takes place and when you plant it uh, you have a stronger and long lasting success in comparison to the 50 50 chances of it of not growing so this is one way of uh, propagating plants especially cuttings in this kind of context so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut them in sm in small pieces and i'm going to put them in water i'm going to show you how i'm going to do it so let's start with the easiest one first normally what i will do here is just i'll just remove off these extra leaves off another thing about scissors make sure you wash it clean it so that it is clear from any pathogens or fungus problem and all that so you can either trim it but i'm just seeing whether i can snap it no, it's not not okay you can snap it but uh, <laughs> it didn't come properly so basically yeah so you can actually do that 
uh, you can cut into two one down one up you can do that or you can keep it in three I thought maybe I'll just keep it in two so this is nice and then another thing here is this uh, extra pieces you can just trim it off and this see this leaf is damaged so uh, let's say if I'm going to keep two and I'm going to keep three in a row so what I can do here is that I can remove this and remove this let's keep this then if I would mm, yep so this will be ideal and remove this and this and this so you can see clearly this is what I've done I kept it this and also this you can see and this so three of it so don't worry about the bottom leaves uh, I prefer to remove it because when I'm going to grow it I'm going to put it into the soil soil medium so it need to be clear from any leaves because it might rot away so by doing this this actually helps so I'll show it to you more clearly once the whole thing is being done properly So if you were to find any challenging pieces as such as this, you can actually remove off the leaves. Uh, but they do concern in keeping the roots because they will actually help the plant. Manage to cut them and place them in water. So in most case, most of it will be like uh, one or two nodes into the water, and and the rest of it is on top. So I, I've not trimmed off the existing roots that is available at the top of the node, and I find that it actually adds value for it for this particular plant to survive and strengthen itself. Likewise, I've also trimmed them for this if you can see uh, over here so I'm just keeping it as many nodes as possible in this viable and if where there is the leaves which is absent I just trim off that and keep it as top cutting so likewise over here you notice similarly so there is no specific science that it should be like this or should not be like this uh, there's a lot of things that factors in more more matter of trial and error and this particular one is what I find that works best in my garden. Now there's another thing that I want to mention about here is that if you were to find a very thin and flimsy top cut top part of the plant that it not really appears to be healthy looking I suggest not to trim them and propagate it because in most cases it will not survive. So consider this portion as part of the most stable root ball which is appears to be most uh, how do you say matured root ball that can actually support the top cutting so I will not suggest anyone to trim anything over here and try to propagate because <laughs> you may actually lose this whole cutting and it will not be uh, viable for growth so this is my based on my experience and I just want to share it to you so try to avoid uh, any cuttings that has a very tiny root uh, growth on it if possible in most cases this is what you might get so you have to propagate this using you know water propagation but I'm saying that when something that you receive in this kind of context it has more chances of survival and the plant can grow much more healthier and better in that kind of situation So basically that's that. So all you have to do here is just place that in a water container and 
uh, keep it in a bright shade for about two to three weeks and just observe and see there's no rot taking place and change the water about once a week at least but if you can do so about three or two to three days once will be much more better to keep the cutting fresh another thing that you need to note is that try not to submerge any leaves into the water because it can rot and may bring fungal problem or a bacteria infection and may lose the whole thing and if you do notice there is something rotting do remove it immediately uh, if you have the space it will be best to put each cutting in one container for itself that will ensure there is no contamination or problems that will be occurring on the rest of the thing but if you are like me you are having space problem and all that I think this is just good enough uh, also keep in, uh, in mind not to over submerge the whole thing into the water especially the crown but just fairly enough that the cutting and the roots are in water so basically that's that so similarly for this uh, particular one you can notice the root balls are inside and the leaves are outside so this is one thing that you have to keep a note of uh, you can keep it for many months easily six months or so uh, and you can just observe and see if any new roots and uh, new shoots appears to grow but also do keep in mind not to keep them too long in a water body uh, too long in a sense more than six months because that's too long a time and the cuttings may become very flimsy and the new growth may not look very fresh I mean if you look at if you notice the new growth they are very tiny and light green you notice it will it will tend to become a bit leggy it will continue to grow like this and at the end of the day it might rot and fall off this, this is one of the things that a lot of people fail to realize that it is water propagation meaning that it is not meant to be in the water for long term it just helps the plant for it to give out a new growth but it's not meant to be there for long term basis so if you want to keep it in long term basis you may be able to put pebbles and lacquer ball those kind of things actually helps the root ball to sort of uh, acclimatize in the system and sort of like able to grow in that kind of context but they are not supposed to grow in water such as this this is just to aid the plant to grow in propagation kind of setting another thing that i want to show to you here is that uh, if you were to trim and cut off all these leaves you can put them in a small bottle and keep them for display and this can actually last for a very long time actually i kept the monstera leaf for about six months and it's still looking fresh uh, it will not root and in most cases it might root but it will be just a single leaf so do take note that there are cases where some people uh, give out a rooted leaf plant it will just be a rooted leaf plant and eventually when the leaf started to turn yellow and die and the whole supposed rooted leaf plant dies so always look for a factor where there is always a node node in a sense like this if let's say this particular part is in the water and this is supposedly cutting and there's a root here there is a chances for it to have a new growth but if it's just a leaf and you, let's say we cut it over here and you put it over here it's just a rooted leaf very uh, likely that it will just be a leaf and nothing is going to grow there are some species that tend to put out shoots uh, but when it comes to monstera and pothos uh, of the, those kind of aeroids uh, it will not uh, form a new plant from a rooted leaf plant so but why why keep it in a such a way to keep them you know and in my case is like i like how the appearance of the plant uh, appears to be in being uh, in, in keeping it as a deco somehow makes it looks beautiful just an example this is actually a monstera leaf which is actually in a water bottle just like that it has not rooted but it's been with me for about six months which i find is a big deal because i can actually 
enjoy a more serially without a plant and not worrying about a plant dying for a six months in just in this bottle in a water container so in that sense uh, I was hoping that it might be a, a rooted leaf plant but it didn't appear to be so and so I'm just happy with how it appears to be so this is six months in cut water the, uh, this particular leaf is in water for six months so it's a big deal so when it comes to monster not all is lost in a sense that you can actually enjoy the beauty about it and this is one of the things that i want to make mention of that when it comes to leaves uh, such as this you can actually enjoy it in keeping them in water and it can actually last you for a very long time so basically i've come to the end of my video just want to show it to you on the initial uh, part of propagation is to place the cuttings in water for at least about three weeks to a month or so and you see there's new growth taking place and you, you can actually uh, transfer them into the potting mix of uh, aeroid mix so that the plant is stable. I have now come to the end of my video. If you have any questions, do put them in a comment below and I try my best to answer them based on my experience and my opinion. If you can, please click like and subscribe my channel. And I will really appreciate it if you can do so. And see you in my next video. Take care and have a nice day. Bye.